All right, so we're finally gonna put into practice all the things that we've talked about so far. So the first thing I wanna do is just clean a couple of sections of this machine where we're going to prep it. Remember I said that even though it was a painted machine and just freshly painted, it's been sitting for a little while and so we still wanna clean it down. Now because I don't expect to find any dirt on it, I am just gonna use these white paper towels. And actually you can see there's really no dirt on this. It is pretty clean. All right, so we'll just go over this quickly. This is a good sunny day, and so this surface is going to dry pretty quickly after I get this install or after I get this cleaned up. If it were a colder day, you'd want to allow more time for this to dry, especially if you were using just something like a commercial window cleaner. One of the beauties of that application fluid that I talked to you about earlier, the rapid tack or the action tack, one of the great advantages to that is it is actually made to be used as an application fluid. And that means if there's a little bit of it left on the surface, it will be okay. All right, so we're ready to install a couple of decals now. Remember these uh, printouts that I showed you earlier, photos of a bobcat that was already decaled? So what we like to do, tape these photos up somewhere on the machine where we're working, so we have some idea of what, should, what the decal installation should look like when it's complete. Okay, so in this case, we have a single bobcat, which we'll just tack up and we'll get it positioned later. We're gonna use one piece of tape on each side of this decal. That way you can trial fit everything. In the case of this bobcat set, there is actually a left and a right bobcat head. Now that's not always true for all decal sets. It is true for these bobcats. It's just those little things that you'll see in this printout that make for a good installation. You'll notice the cat head is looking ahead. You're gonna notice there's no clear straight lines to align this by, so everything is more or less going to be by feel. Just look at the, where the decals sit on there and see if I want to make any adjustments. The cat head is fine, but I'm going to say I'm going to try moving this down a little bit, see if I like it better there. All right, so we're going to say that these are ready to install. You've tacked this up in place, so we're just going to run another piece of masking tape as a hinge right down through the middle. And now for the first time, you can definitely see the advantage to a tool bag here because all your tools are right at hand. Strip that one side off. Peel the backing paper away from the decal. You're gonna cut that backing paper away. And then you're just gonna squeegee that right down in place. With that done, you're gonna strip that middle hinge away peel the other tape tab on the left side away. It's giving me a little bit of a problem. Fold it back to the middle, peel the paper backing away, and then you're going to squeegee that down. And then we're gonna pull that transfer tape off. When you pull the transfer tape off, do not pull it straight out. Pull at an angle and essentially fold it right back over itself that gives it the least resistance possible to come off. Just give it one final check with your fingertips, inspect it, there's no bubbles. That's a good installation. We're gonna do that with the cat head. So instead of putting a hinge in the middle, it's a small decal, we're just gonna put a single hinge off to the left. Pull that tape tab off. Very carefully so we don't lose any whiskers. If you were in close, you'd probably be able to see I'm fighting with one of these whiskers. If that happens, just re-squeegee the decal. A lot of times that'll take care of it. Just squeegee the whole thing one last time. Yeah, now those whiskers come up nicely. You're gonna pull it all the way back to the hinge, and now you can squeegee that whole unit down. Same thing, and we'll do a quick peel off, and then that's done. Okay, so we have two decals that we need to install in this section of the machine right here. Now this we're gonna place right about in there in the machine, so the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is just tack it right into place. All right, so what you're gonna notice here is that there is what is essentially a straight line that's across the bottom of this machine. And what we're gonna do is measure from here up to here, and we're gonna get that at the same position on both sides. So we'll start right here as close as we can get, which is that pin boss is a little bit in the way there. And we're gonna say that's roughly speaking 12. And again, 
I got to play with this a little bit, but we're going to have to move that down a little bit to get that to around 12. And there'll be a little bit of positioning back and forth. When you do these, check both sides several times to be sure that you're getting it lined up right. So we're right about where we need to be there. And that decal is in place. So we're just going to do the same center hinge method that I showed you for those smaller decals right down through the middle there. Now in a moment, you're gonna notice something that's a little different about this decal than the first one we did. So again, same as before, we're gonna pull that back to the center. And I lost a dot on the B, not a big deal. You just bring that back in rub it one more time. Those are those little things you gotta watch for. Same thing, undercut the backing paper. Grab a squeegee. In this case, I happen to just pull the three inch one out. Not a big deal. Now here, I've got a much larger decal, and so I'm gonna squeegee diagonal from the center out toward the edges. Diagonal from the center out toward the edges. Same process in reverse, strip that center tab, fold it back, and carefully remove the other side. Now, if this were very long, you might only peel a portion of that back and work with it and install a piece at a time. This is a fairly small decal, easy enough to do half and half. Same process, diagonal from the center out toward the edge. One final squeegeeing down to make sure everything is good. And now we're ready to peel it. And this is an assembled decal, which means the orange portion of the decal is cut and there is enough space allowed on the vinyl for the black model number to go on top. And so you'll notice that there's still transfer tape on the model number. Carefully pull the other off. Make sure, especially in these larger decals, and especially if you're working on a surface that's not fresh paint, do this slowly so that if something starts to lift up, you can catch it in time and re-squeegee it. I'm gonna show you how to install one decal on the back yet, and then you should have a pretty good feel for how to do decals on your own. There's a couple additional things I'd like to show you when we're installing this decal. Now, You'll notice first, I did take the time in advance, like we talked about in the earlier videos about prepping the decal, to draw a straight line across the bottom, and then I can measure off of that line there. Now you'll notice also a, tech, a, a thing that we hadn't done before, which was we're going to have to center this decal in the panel. So again, I've already previously marked the center point of the decal, and what you would do is just take your tape measure, run it from two known points at the edges, and then halfway through, use that stabilo that I've talked about and mark, mark your center point. Okay, so we've just aligned it left to right with the center mark. We've aligned it top to bottom with this straight edge here and using one of the straight edges on the door panel, we are ready for installation. Now, if you're able to follow these techniques consistently, there's no reason why you shouldn't turn out excellent quality installations on every piece of equipment. And you'll notice we did this without any wet method. There was no need for any kind of fluid. A nice, clean, dry installation. This is ready to move right from a 70 degree shop if you were working in there directly out into a zero degree day if you're working in Minnesota in the middle of the winter. This is a good installation. If you were working outside doing this and it was a little bit cooler, the final step that you might want to use is either to use a hair dryer or a heat gun and just gently heat these up to set the adhesive onto the paint. Okay guys, that's about it for the basic installation and I hope your decal installations go well for you.